The Casimir effect is a physical force that arises from the quantum fluctuations of a field. It was predicted by Dutch physicist Hendrik Casimir in 1948. 1. The force exists between parallel, uncharged plates in a vacuum, and it is the vacuum itself that applies the force to. The physics behind it is fascinating, and it is often viewed as evidence that the zero-point energy of the quantum field is real. The Casimir effect is a physical force that arises from the quantum fluctuations of a field. It was predicted by Dutch physicist Hendrik Casimir in 1948. 1. The force exists between parallel, uncharged plates in a vacuum, and it is the vacuum itself that applies the force 12. The Casimir effect is a manifestation of the zero-point energy of the quantum field, which is the lowest possible energy that a quantum mechanical physical system may have won. In more detail, the Casimir effect can be understood as follows. In a vacuum, there are virtual particles that constantly pop in and out of existence. These particles are created by the energy fluctuations of the vacuum. When two parallel plates are placed in a vacuum, they restrict the wavelengths of these virtual particles that can exist between them. This restriction leads to a decrease in the energy density of the vacuum between the plates compared to outside them. As a result, there is a net force that pushes the plates together 13. The Casimir effect has been experimentally observed and measured with high accuracy 1. It has also been studied in various contexts such as black holes and nanotechnologies. The Casimir effect was first predicted by the Dutch physicist Hendrik Casimir in 1948 for electromagnetic systems 1. In the same year, Casimir and Dirk Polter described a similar effect experienced by a neutral atom in the vicinity of a macroscopic interface, which is called the Casimir Polter Force 1. The result is a generalization of the London Van der Waals force and includes retardation due to the finite speed of light 1. The fundamental principles leading to the London Van der Waals force, the Casimir force, and the Casimir Polter force can be formulated on the same footing 1. It was not until 1997 that a direct experiment by Stephen Cale and Moore quantitatively measured the Casimir force to within 5% of the value predicted by the theory 1. The Casimir effect can be understood by the idea that the presence of microscopic material interfaces, such as electrical conductors and the electrics, alter the vacuum expectation value of the energy of the second current into an electromagnetic field 1. Since the value of this energy depends on the shapes and positions of the materials, the Casimir effect manifests itself as a force between such objects 1. The Casimir effect is a physical force that arises from the quantum fluctuations of a field in the confined space 1. It is named after the Dutch physicist Peter Casimir, who predicted the effect for electromagnetic systems in 1948. 1. The Casimir effect can be understood by the idea that the presence of microscopic material interfaces, such as electrical conductors and the electrics, alter the vacuum expectation value of the energy of the second current is an electromagnetic field 1. Since the value of this energy depends on the shapes and positions of the materials, the Casimir effect manifests itself as a force between such objects 1. The Casimir effect is a consequence of quantum mechanics because it arises from the quantum fluctuations of a field in a confined space 1. In quantum field theory, the Casimir effect is a physical force acting on the macroscopic boundaries of a confined space which arises from the quantum fluctuations of a field 1. The fundamental principles leading to the Casimir force can be formulated on the same footing as those leading to other forces such as London Van der Waals force and Casimir Polter force 1. The Casimir effect has several applications in nanotechnology, optics, and material science 123. The effect can be used to manipulate the behavior of quantum dots, nanoiris, viruses, or bacteria in forthcoming technology 2. It can also be used for measuring very small objects with high precision 2. In nanophotonics, the Casimir effect can be used to create repulsive forces and torques, generate photons from vacuum, modify chemistry, and engineer material functionality 1. The effect can also be used to create Casimir oscillators in nanoelectromechanical systems and silicon integrated circuit technology 3. In addition to these applications, the Casimir effect has been studied as a possible explanation for dark energy in cosmology 2. The Casimir effect has been studied for its potential applications in modifying chemistry 1. The effect can be used to modify the energy levels of molecules and atoms, which can lead to changes in their chemical properties 1. For example, the Casimir effect can be used to modify the van der Waals forces between molecules, which can affect the stability of molecular structures 1. The effect can also be used to modify the electronic structure of molecules, which can alter their reactivity and chemical bonding 1. A recent review article by Taogong et al. 
discusses several recent developments in modified the Casimir effectant related phenomena, including modified chemistry 1. The authors describe how non-orbitic disturbances of the vacuum field state can result in the generation of photons through the rapid modulation of an electromagnetic boundary and how the Casimir energy can be used to modify molecular states in chemistry. The Casimir effect is a physical force that arises from the quantum fluctuations of a field in the confined space 1. It is named after the Dutch physicist Hendrik Casimir, who predicted the effect for electromagnetic systems in 1948. 1. The Casimir effect can be understood by the idea that the presence of microscopic material interfaces, such as electrical conductors and E-electrics, alter the vacuum expectation value of the energy of the second coolant is an electromagnetic field 1. Since the value of this energy depends on the shapes and positions of the materials, the Casimir effect manifests itself as a force between such objects 1. The Casimir effect has been studied for its potential applications in modified chemistry and onophotonics 1. It can also be used to create repulsive forces and torques, generate photons from vacuum, modify chemistry, and engineer material functionality 1. The effect can also be used to create Casimir oscillators in NO electromechanical systems and silicon integrated circuit technology 1. In 2015, James Quach at the University of Tokyo proposed that gravitational waves could generate Casimir-like forces as they pop in and out of the vacuum 2. If gravity truly has a quantum nature, then gravitational waves should also generate Casimir-like forces as they pop in and out of the vacuum 1. New calculations by Quach suggest that a gravitational Casimir attraction might be observable, provided two mirrors have the unusual property of being able to reflect gravitational waves too. Conventional solids would be transparent to the gravitational field. But theorists have suggested that superconducting materials may behave differently. The passage of gravitational waves through a superconductor would cause Cooper pairs, which are highly delocalized quantum objects, to move in a different way than the localized crystal ions. This effect could turn a thin superconducting sheet into an efficient reflector for gravitational waves. Building on this idea, Quach analyzed a scheme in which two films of superconducting leg, each a few nanometers thick, were separated by several micrometers. He calculated the gravitational contribution to the Casimir force that pulls the films together and showed it could exceed the electromagnetic one by an order of magnitude. An experimental realization of his scheme could offer a way to test quantum gravity theories in search for gravitons, the hypothetical quantum particles that mediate gravity. The Casimir effect can be used to generate photons from vacuum through the dynamical Casimir effect, DCE, 12. In the DCE, photons are created by a rapid change in a system parameter, such as an electromagnetic boundary condition 2. For example, a mirror in an optical cavity moving rapidly at a frequency f generates pairs of photons with frequency f slash 2 from the vacuum 2. The generation of photon pairs out of the quantum vacuum was originally described as a motion-induced phenomenon, but it can occur when any kind of temporal modulation is exerted under the vacuum to promote virtual into real photons 2. Empowering modulation protocols with spatial control could enable shaping the spectral, spatial, spin, and entanglement properties of the emitted photon pairs 1. Space-time quantum metasurfaces have been proposed as a platform to realize this physics by modulation of their optical properties 1. A recent study by Diego A. R. Gowden and Wilton J. M. Quarkin describes how no non-orbitic disturbances of the vacuum field state can result in the generation of photons through the rapid modulation of an electromagnetic boundary and how the Casimir energy can be used to modify molecular states in chemistry. The dynamical Casimir effect, DCE, is a phenomenon whereby virtual photons in a vacuum are converted into real photons by changing the boundary conditions of the field 12. The DCE was first predicted by Gerald T. Moore in the 1970s and was experimentally verified more than 40 years later too. In the DCE, photons are created by a rapid change in a system parameter, such as an electromagnetic boundary condition 3. For example, a mirror in an optical cavity moving rapidly at a frequency f generates pairs of photons with frequency f slash 2 from the vacuum 3. The generation of photon pairs out of the quantum vacuum was originally described as a motion-induced phenomenon, but it can occur when any kind of temporal modulation is exerted under the vacuum to promote virtual into real photons 3. The DCE has several potential applications in quantum optics and quantum information processing 13. For example, it can be used to generate entangled photon pairs, which are useful for quantum communication and cryptography 13. It can also be used to create non-classical states of light, such as squeezed states and flex states, which have applications in quantum metrology and sensing. That was all. Goodbye.